Hello friends, in this episode we're going to be doing the giant rat pelt quest in Kaladim. So from the entrance of Kaladim, we're going to make our way to the Warrior's Guild. Feel free to jump ahead if you already know how to get there. Take a left. Past the Spoonie Bard. Flip around this here arena. And because we are a dwarf, we're going to do a sweet dwarf barrel roll right on over that fountain. So, I always do this part too quickly. So, right here, we'll take a right, go around this corner, and immediately take another right. And this Benno Tarnago fellow is who you want to turn this into. So, we are going to be giving him four giant rat pelts. And you can see we got a fair amount of experience for that, and a torch. So, that being said, um, the rats are not actually present outside the gate, so I went ahead and collected the pelts ahead of time just for the sake of making this easier. And I also collected the second portion of the quest, this piece of scrap metal. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that in as well here. And you get this sweet night card. So now, let's go real quick. We're going to run over to the Rogue's Guild here. It's going to show you after I get turned around for a second and get yep. right over here. So we're going to kind of go over where you find the rats and also where you find the cleaner 7 NPC that's going to drop the scrap metal for you. And the scrap metal quest is interesting but in a weird way so you actually have to go turn that in an ocean of tears so down here in the rogues guild right over we're in south caledon now you'll see these lovely giant rats so we're gonna smash the shit out of them with our hammer because why not and there are a total of three rats down here now i have seen on occasion, the rats will drop more than one pelt. You're just going to kind of run through the rogue guild mine and look for rats. I think there's only three. And we're going to murder them. Now, alternately, you can actually get lucky and sometimes people will kill rats in other areas. And they show up here, and you can pick them up as uh, vendor trash for fairly cheap. Oh, you bastard. Really? Uh, well, that made the video suck. <laughs> Note to self, don't engage them <laughs> on that little bridge. Or you'll be swimming up. Yeah. I thought I was just going to jump down and whack him one more time. There he is. Come on, dude. You're being a jerk. Stop. On land, please. So each of these three rats, and there is a double drop, so now I actually have enough pelts to turn in again. I'm going to go ahead and do that because it was a sweet amount of experience. But anyways, um, you kill these three rats, they give you a little bit of experience, you get the pelts, you go turn them in, right around the corner in the Warrior's Guild. And um, this is a really... Probably not a bad little camp if you're level 2 or 3 and don't feel like chasing noob mobs. And want a chance at some uh, bronze items. So now that being said, we're going to run back. And we're going to head to Ocean of Tears. And I'm going to go ahead and pause um, while I do that. Because I'm assuming most everybody's going to know how to get to the boat and how to make their way to Ocean and if you don't, it's not that hard to find out. You can check a map on the P99 wiki. So we're going to pause and we will magically appear on Sister Island. We're going to turn our stuff in. Alright folks, so I'm back in the Butcher Block Mountains. And just in case somebody doesn't know where to go to get to the docks, you turn right and follow the road. And you will eventually make it to the docks. So I've arrived at the docks and I just thought it was noteworthy to point out. Um, there is, in fact, an yellow con aqua goblin here to me at level 5, walking straight towards me. 
So just be aware there may be some danger here. I'm going to kind of hide behind the guards and wait on them to smash him. But I'm going to go sit on the dock and wait on the boat. And we have arrived on Sister Island. So we're going to go find our dwarf friend whom... Over here. And we're going to give him this knight. Right. And we got called Sandals Boo. So yeah, um, that quest is not bad, but you know, it has some... Yeah, some... It's a lot of work. <laughs> I waited on the boat a good 30 minutes, so yeah. But anyways, thank you for watching, and that's that. Uh, Quest in a nutshell.